Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Good day, friends. I had a user reach out and ask a question about tubes. I was going to explain it with notes and dug on it. That just takes more time than making a video. So let me show you what I got. First, for the project, the user wanted a tube. I would actually use this one right here. I love it because we can pick our radius. Right now, I'm going to change that to 15. I don't know the exact number the user wanted, but that's how I would get it. I would make the wall thickness whatever I needed here. Let's say we needed two, and then finally bump up the sides. I am not going to mess with the bevel, but I'll show you how it works. If we hit two, you can see that chisels that edge because it had one segment. If we instead make this five, then it rounds. The I don't think the user wants that, so I'm going to set it back to zero. I'm going to adjust my height like this. So the user wants exactly half of this. I would do that by bringing out a cube, and I would match the size. 30 is my diameter, so I would shift stretch, change that number to 30 and press enter. Raise it all the way up, and then on this side, I would simply do half of 30, 15. Now when I grab those two, choose L for a line, and let's use a new technique. Let's switch to flat view and look at it from the top. This makes it awesome for lining it up. So I want my half to come all the way to that edge and be in the middle. You've got a very clear view that this is exactly half. If we group them, you are left with the half of the shape you want. I'm going to switch back to perspective view because I appreciate that more. That, my friends, is how I would get a half of a tube in just a few steps. If you needed both halves, I would do Control D, Shift Nudge, and then I would simply use the mirror. So bingo, I have got the two parts if I want to line them up. Check this out. We can do W for work plane. I'm going to put the work plane right on that edge. And if I do D to drop, it snaps in place just like it's supposed to. Then I'll put the work plane back on the ground. Now friends, I'm going to publish this just because I like to publish designs. The first thing I do is hit settings. I'm going to pick a fun background color. Let's go with green. I'm going to shut off the grid. I'm going to take my two pieces and I'm going to make them a better color too. Let's go with a purple. And then I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it half tube. And then we simply return to the Tinkercad dashboard. Right here we can click on the properties. Make sure it has a name we like, tutorial after mine. Of course, in the properties, you can mention anything you want. I mentioned my tutorials coming soon. I also highlight the new shares and, of course, give you other ways to reach me. Make sure you add some tags. I've got my tube right there, and I'm going to call this half tube. And I'll even put the word beginner. And finally, don't forget, if you ever tag something with HLMT23, I check that tag almost every day. And, of course, I will give you a reaction. The last step, of course, is to make it public. Prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my work, I'd rather have you come up here, use that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Finally, hit save changes. As we wrap up, friends, let's just remember quickly what we did. We learned about the tube. We learned about its properties. We also used the mirror tool. And, of course, I showed you flat view and perspective view that are handy for lining things up. And we used a line so we could get our desired result in just a few minutes. Hopefully you find those skills useful in many of your upcoming Tinkercad projects. Friends, as I wrap up this video, I would like to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As we know, there is a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories. And then below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Finally, in the bottom corner, you will find a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight up above the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you'll be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a